So with the Weathers Goo, you're going to want to use some protection. Okay, so now I put some protection on. Got the fan going, you probably can hear that. I'm not sure if you can see this, but over here, I just marked the pieces that are the ladder just to, they're so hard to see, I thought it would just be a way to go on that. This is place on, place the roof on one of the paper tubes and use the other paper tube and something such as an inverted film can or empty paint bottle to apply some slight pressure to squeeze the joint together. So we'll see how we want to do that because we want it to come together and this makes me very nervous. But there you go. So what we'll do is we'll get that while there is goo out. Definitely very stringy once again. So see there's lots of goo so there's lots there I'm gonna go ahead and spread this along here I'm okay if it gets underneath there I think so what we can do at this point is it's it is flexible you can see that's that's what makes me nervous it's coming apart so remember it says to touch it, take it apart, you see it's coming apart there and now we're going to put it back together there. So we wanted to make sure that that came off and that we have a joint there. And we need to let this dry for like two minutes. Like it said yesterday to bond. Now it said to put some slight pressure so you can do this. But I'm not sure I want to do that. I want to make sure that this comes together. So what we could do is certainly as this sticks to me. So there you go. You can see one of the bonds is we're going to have to ensure that that bonds together that both of those bond together so what it's kind of showing there I'm off camera this whole time and I apologize for that but what I did is I simply had it like that coned it up flipped it over put some pressure on here what we want to do is keep that section together and you can see it's a little bit off because there's so much glue from all the gluing I did. I'm going to go ahead and mix the epoxy. So I'll be back. I finished mixing and adding the epoxy. Flipped it upside down so that now we have the can on there. And really the picture is showing you putting some pressure on it. I think you do need a little bit of pressure here to keep its shape, to keep it together, um, but it's getting there. When I do the second one, now that I have the right glue in the process down, it should look a little bit prettier than that looks. You can see I have the, I have some gaps here to deal with. So then the next piece will be to finish the roof with these parts these parts here 